providing professional services to those in need. Hi and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Elena Russo. Please welcome Judge Leo Green from Catholic Charities DC. Judge Green, thank you for joining us. My pleasure to be here, Elena. You're headed to Catholic Charities DC very soon to do just that, provide a professional service to those in need. I am, and it's a, it's a change in lifestyle for me. I've been on the circuit court for 12 years, a judge for 18, and I'm leaving the bench to go to work for the poor and the elderly. And what is it that you'll be doing? I'll be doing a lot of listening and a lot of helping people in their needs, of legal needs, uh, listening to their, what they're the, going on wrong with their life uh, and trying to solve and give them a legal path to resolve those issues. Now, all of this that you're talking about is the Catholic Charities Legal Network. Correct. Is this something new that they've done? Oh, no. This is the Catholic Charities Legal Network's been around in the D.C. area for decades. Uh, mainly, it's lawyers that have come together and they, they give over $20 million worth of services in the last several years to uh, folks in need. Uh, poor and elderly that have questions about family law disputes, landlord tenant disputes, uh, debt issues, uh, family disputes, um, family estate disputes. And uh, this work has been around for uh, several decades and, and does some fa fabulous work. And right now you're really focused on Summer of Service, an initiative that I know they've done before. Yes, they have, and it's something new for me, but it's something I, I've learned is that in the summer months, we, all Americans, center on family, fun, relaxing, and charitable giving and charitable service goes down. So we're trying to pump up the hours, pump up the, the time that we spend with these folks in the summer as a summer of service. Now, where will these legal services, uh, where will you be able to get them? Well, mainly in Prince George's County with Catholic Charities Legal Network is through the Mona Center in Temple Hills. and. Uh, but however, we're willing to go anywhere, any place to discuss it. We do, we do have hours and we'll see people in their homes and different things of that nature, but that's our main hub. That's our main network center in Prince George's County. And the Mona Center does more than just the legal services there, right? Oh, absolutely. There, right? It's, it's just a small sliver of the great things that Catholic Charities does in that area. As you walk into the Mona Center, you would see a dental clinic right away, a health clinic, um, a, uh, a uh, employment center, uh, and many other services areas, then they provide many um, different services, different training services for folks. It's, it's bigger than just the legal network. Legal network, very small part of that, Elena. But very important, particularly for those in this area. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of, uh, like you said, I think you practice family law and disputes, things sure. of that nature. The thing is, the poor and the elderly are often folks that don't have the ability like you and I have to pick up a phone that has a friend or a family friend or somebody who's in the legal world. They are basically outside of that realm. And so we try to provide that service for those folks and we try to help them along the path. And many times we're listening to them, uh, listening to the facts of their dispute or their problem or their issue and trying to provide a legal path for a resolution for them that they can feel satisfactory with. Wonderful. Judge Green, thank you so much for coming in and giving us this great information, and good luck to you with your new endeavor. I will. Thank you. Good to be with you, Elena. You've just heard from Judge Leo Green from Catholic Charities DC. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Elena Russo.